a game dev secret about animation. One of the hardest things in game development is animation, especially for pixel art games. I mean, check out these animations from the original Game Jam version of Isidore's Edge from like three years ago that I made. They're clearly extremely rough. The animations in my game have improved tremendously since Fur joined the team. But even though it takes a lot of time, effort, and practice to make high quality animations, there's a really cool trick that can help you out tremendously, and it's called a block out. To show you how block outs work, I'll demonstrate using this new enemy from my game. He is another agent that works for the same organization as Isadora, but for story reasons, he's a bad guy now. <laughs> and we want to give this bad guy a cool attack with his sword. Now, when you start trying to make pixel art animations for the first time, your instinct is naturally to just draw it frame by frame. So you start from the first pose and then move his body parts around in the next frame, trying to get to whatever pose you think it should be. Then because you manipulated the sprite for that new pose, you have to fix up the details so it still looks all right. And then you finish that frame and you move on to the next frame and the next frame and you end up with an animation that might not feel very good because you were sort of just eyeballing the poses and fixing it is going to be a huge hassle. Instead, we use a block out. We assign a color to each part of the sprite's body. You can see he has a pink arm, some dark purple legs, a light green head. We want to make each individual part of the body distinct so you can tell them apart, but with absolutely no details. Then you do the same animation process frame by frame on this no detail block out version of the sprite. Each individual pose in the animation is way easier and faster because it's just a sketch. You don't have to be too precise with your individual pixels. And you get to preview the overall motion of the animation without investing any time into the detail work. If there are any problems with the motion, you can easily clean up the frames and change stuff because you're just working with those block out color blobs. And you can even test the animation in game using the block out version to make sure that the motion of the animation actually does what you need it to. Then once you have a block out animation that you're happy with, you can just go through and add the details to each individual pose. And adding detail to a block out pose is a lot easier than trying to freehand a detailed pose right from the start. So if you're trying to improve your pixel art animations, give block outs a try.